Hey folks, you may have noticed today started on a cool note. Our low temperature this morning was 53 degrees. It's been a long time since we hit 53 degrees. In fact, you have to go all the way back to the middle of March. The last time we were that cool was March the 14th. So uh, several months since we've been this chilly. And that's here in Westlake. Look at the other lows that were reported in this morning. Harlan's the same thing. Edinburgh, same. 57 to 58 at the other reporting stations across the valley. But a cool start to your day. Now, of course, we warmed up with sunshine. This is where we are right now. Everybody, upper 70s, low 80s, depends on where you are. But bright sunshine, still low humidity. Still a very nice day across the area. 77 in Port Isabel. Overnight tonight, cool, close to last night, upper 50s for the most part. The beach about 68 degrees, so another chilly night. And then tomorrow we bounce back up into the 80s again with bright sunshine. Looks like a pretty nice day across the area once again tomorrow. The average high for this time of year is 87. We're going 84, 86, 88 the next three days. So we'll be back above average by the time we get to Friday. And we'll stay above average through the weekend. This is satellite. You see those clouds just right along the coast have been coming and going all day. We saw them on Sky 5 before the break. And if you watch, they're going to kind of hang out near the coast. But for the most part, skies are clear during the daytime. Tomorrow we're mostly sunny and gorgeous again. Thursday, moisture starts to thicken up. And I don't think we see a whole lot in terms of rainfall, but I do think we see a lot more humidity, a lot more moisture in the air. You'll notice that. And you go into Friday, uh, the same kind of thing. More humidity, perhaps a spotty shower. We're putting the chance of rain on Friday at 20%. Haven't put it in there for Thursday yet, but if the models keep trending toward more moisture, we may have to bump that up a notch, but I think it'll be tough to see that happen. Texas enjoying sunshine today. Clear skies from here all the way up to the panhandle. And that Probably not going to change for a few hours at least, but by the time we get to tomorrow, again, you start to see a little Gulf moisture sneaking in. You also see some moisture coming in from the west, but notice no fronts on the map through Thursday through Friday. So instead, the humidity just builds right back into the valley, and as that humidity returns, you'll feel it. That means nighttime lows warm up. Daytime highs go up a little bit, but it's the humidity that really makes it feel stickier as we go through the rest of the forecast period. Now, by Saturday, nothing in Texas yet, but up in the corner of the map up here, there's the next front that's doing the valley Sunday with it, perhaps a shower, maybe even a thunderstorm that pushes through and then brings drier air in for early next week. Yesterday, the models were at odds about just how quickly that front was going to go through and what it meant for rainfall. But right now it looks like it's likely to sneak on through uh, pretty quickly. Here's our next weather maker. We have to go all the way out to the Pacific Northwest. This is where our front is being born off the west coast of Canada. The front up there right now that's due in the valley on Sunday. So that's what we're watching. We'll continue to track that. That's our next major weather maker in the valley. At our coast, here's what's going on. Things pretty quiet. Northeasterly winds about four to eight, just a light chop. The UV index is high. The bay and surf are both at 80. Moderate risk of rip currents. There are three tides, a high, low, and a high. The seas are running about two to four feet. So for tonight, 57 for a low, clear skies and cool again. Northerly winds about six to 12. Tomorrow, we start cool, upper 50s, low 60s early, back to 84 by afternoon with light and variable winds. Next seven days, we do warm it up to about 91 by Saturday and Sunday. A thunderstorm with that front and then cooler for early next week, but not cold, 82 and 85 for Monday and Tuesday. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.